Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. Obviously, this video is pre recorded. After I record, after I record this, I'm going to go to sleep and then um, upload the Colts preview, season preview I just did, and upload this video um, when I wake up. Both, both of them. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about ESPN's uh, Top 100 list. Um, ranking the top 100 professional athletes since 2000. I'm probably going to tell this video like uh, ESPN ranked ranking the top 100 professional athletes since 2000 reaction or something like that. And this is the greatest athletes of the 21st century ranked and I don't know, I don't know about this list. Um, we'll go over it. Uh, number one they put Michael Phelps. Uh, number one uh, he was a swimmer. His key accomplishments was a record 28-time Olympic medalist, a 23-time Olympic gold medalist, most gold medals at a single Olympics when he won eight at Beijing in 2008. Those were some of his key accomplishments. Uh, I'm not going to argue with this. I say Michael Phelps is one of the greatest. I mean, when you're a 28-time Olympic gold and 28-time Olympic medals, 23-time gold me Olympic gold medals, and then you win multiple golds and when he did in 2008. He, he won eight gold medals. So, just hard work he did so, throughout his swimming career. So, can't argue with that. Uh, number two, Serena Williams. Uh, she was a 23-time major champion. Second most of any player all time. She, uh, she a woman's record, 365 major match wins, 73 career titles, or fifth most by a woman in the open era. Um... I mean, uh, it can make, make, make an argument that maybe, say, Messi, LeBron, and I'd say maybe even Tom Brady could be number two. I would I would put them at number two. But honestly, you can't argue with Serena Williams at two. Uh, number three was Lionel Messi. He was a ten-time La Liga champion, seven-time Copa del Rey winner, a four-time Champions League winner, six-time Champions League up soccer. 17-time FIFA 5 Pro World 11 World Cup winner, 2-time Copa America winner, 2-time Copa America winner, 2-time FIFA World Cup Golden Ball winner, and 8-time Ballon d'Or winner, and a record goal scorer for Barcelona and Argentina. Um, he didn't do much this, like, from what I'm hearing, most of the, um, run where they just won a championship. Um... But hey, Messi, he's been great since getting there to Argentina. And it's a team sport. Sometimes you need team sports to come through. And soccer, it's a team sport. But just going overall, yeah, I'll definitely say Messi's top five. I'd, hell, I might even say maybe number two. Hell, even maybe number one. You could, I wouldn't blame you if you put Messi at one. Number four, LeBron James. Um, NBA's all-time scoring leader, a 20-time All-Star. 19-time All-NBA selection. He's on the 75th anniversary team. Four-time MVP. Four-time Finals MVP. He's a four-time NBA champion. Three-time All-Star Game MVP. Yeah, Vaughn's definitely worthy of being up here. Uh, Tom Brady at number five. Seven-time champion. I think the greatest NFL player ever. Uh, five-time Super Bowl MVP. Uh, three-time NFL MVP. He's a two-time AP Offensive Player of the Year. Fifteen-time Pro Bowler. Three-time First team all pro NFL record for career passing touchdowns. Yeah, definitely the GOAT. Seven time Super Bowl champ. I mean, he. Just such a legend. Hell, even if he played today, he'd still be good because he takes care of his body. Like, he has a good diet. So he could still play today if he wanted to. You know, his arm's not as. Obviously, not as good as it was, but was because he's older. But, hell, Tom Brady. Yeah, I'd say top five. Number six, Roger Federer. Uh, he had 20 major champ, ma 20 time major champion, 369 major wins. Uh, number seven, Simone Biles, uh, gymnastics. Uh, Roger Federer was a tennis, by the way, and obviously LeBron and obviously LeBron and Tom Brady basketball and football. Uh, Simone Biles, seven time Olympic medalist. I mean, at seven might be a bit crazy. Tiger was at eight, 13 major wins. So that's fair. It's like mate, Tiger Woods would be, should be up here. Number nine was Usain Bolt, the fastest man ever. Uh, Eight-time Olympic gold medalist. Number ten, Kobe! The Black Mamba. That Mamba mentality. He's a part of the NBA 75th anniversary team. 2007-2008 VP. He was 18-time All-Star, 15-time All-NBA selection, 12-time All-Defense. And he won the All-Star game, All game MVP four times. Five-time champion. 
R.I.P. Kobe, Mamba Mentality. I say Kobe's top 10. Number 11 was uh, Novak Djokovic. Uh, he was a 24 time Grand Slam singles champion. Number 12, Rafael Nadal at 12, 22 time Grand Slam champion. Number 3, Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot of accomplishments, a lot of championships for him throughout his career. Number 14, my boy Steph, Steph Curry here. Um, 70, part of the 75th anniversary team. He's a four time NBA champ. 2022 Finals MVP. 10 time All Star. 9 time All NBA. 2022 All Star Game MVP. 2 time scoring leader. Career leader in threes made. Changed the game of basketball. And then he just. And just. Such a legend, man. And especially, the, especially that 2022 title. Out, out of all the championships I've seen Curry win, that was my favorite one because he done it without KD when people said he needed KD and then he goes out and wins a championship in 22. Katie Ledecky at 15. Mm, don't know about that. Number 16, Tim Duncan. I would definitely put Tim Duncan ahead. Shaquille O'Neal at 17. I would put ahead of Katie Ledecky. Uh, number 18, Patrick Mahomes. Kind of crazy how Patrick Mahomes is already at number 18. And three-time Super Bowl champ, three-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time NFL MVP, two-time first-team All-Pro, six-time Pro Bowler. It's just it's just crazy how he's already at 18 and he's still pretty young. Like, and he still won a Super Bowl this past season and their offense wasn't even that good. Their defense really carried him, but the offense stepped up in the postseason. Number 19, Lewis Hamilton, Sir Lewis. Seven-time F1 champion. And he's kind of struggled, and McLaren's really, or not McLaren. Mercedes has kind of struggled the last few years, but they've kind of got back to that pace. Well, I guess back to normal pace this year, and Lewis actually won the last F1 race, I think. But yeah, I'd definitely say he's one of, the, one of the goats, and he's going to Ferrari next year. Aaron Donald at 20, 10-time Pro Bowler. I'd say the greatest defensive tackle of all time. He made an idiot, a, 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 a media impact since his rookie year. Number 21, Deanna Taurasi. Um, number 22, Sidney Cros Sydney Crosby. Number 23, Kevin Garnett. Uh, number 24, Albert Pulhos, Dodger legend and Cardinals legend. Uh, 25 was Floyd Mayweather. Uh, number 26, Peyton Manning. The uh, Hall of Famer Peyton Manning, I should say. Number 27, Randy Moss, one of the greatest receivers ever. Uh, number 28, Nikola Jokic. One of the most underrated big men by a lot of fans that still say he sucks. Uh, number 29, Michael Schumacher, seven-time champion. If you're going to have Lewis Hamilton, I would definitely have Michael Schumacher close to him. I wouldn't have him ten spots below. Number 30, Mike Trout. It kind of sucks we've never seen him, you know, make in the playoffs. Or maybe, has he won maybe one time and they got eliminated early? It sucks. We haven't seen Mike Trout being in a full playoff series. Number 31, boy, Clint, my boy Clayton Kershaw. Uh, Three-time Cy Young winner, 2014 MVP, 10-time All-Star. Clayton Kershaw's just such a legend. And even even then, now, he's, he, he's still, still a great pitcher. Number 32, Marta in soccer. Number 33, Miguel Cabrera. Number 34, Tamika Catchings. Number 35, D-Wade, Dwayne Wade, The Flash. I don't know what that was. Uh, number 36, Maya Moore. Yeah, Maya Moore was a beast. Uh, she stopped playing at the age of 29, you know, after she'd had a great career. It was falling uh, to focus on social justice issues, and she worked to help her husband free, and she officially retired in 2023. So she, she was a beast, great career. Two perfect seasons at UConn, great at Minnesota, clutch play, then obviously I talked about that, what with the social justice stuff. But she was a beast. Uh, Ichiro at 37. Number 38, Barry Bonds. I know it's kind of, people would probably say it's kind of low, but he was still a great player without the steroids, but that was kind of the steroid era. Uh, number 39, Kevin Durant. Um... I'd say Kevin Durant is worthy here. Justin Verlander at 40. Mm, debatable. I'd definitely put Dirk ahead of him. Dirk at 41. I would put Dirk Nowitzki at 40, but he's at 41. Number 42, Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
Number 43, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Number 34, 44, Michaela Schiff. Rian. Number 45, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Uh, number 46, Max Scherzer. Mm, don't know if I put Max Scherzer in this list. Yeah, he's, he's had some Cy Young, two-time World Series champion, eight-time All-Star. I mean, they threw two no hairs in 2015, but still. Uh, number 47, the only NASCAR driver here, uh, Jimmy Johnson. Obviously, I know about Jimmy Johnson because I watched NASCAR. I watched NASCAR for a long time. But yeah, I definitely say Jimmy Johnson definitely worthy of being here. Maybe he could be a few spots higher. Seven-time NASCAR Cup champion, Tywin with Hart and Richard Petty for most. I'd say he's the goat. Um, I'd say he's the goat. I mean, I he won five straight titles from 2006 to 2010. That's just him being clutch, being that great of a driver. I mean, he won those cups even as a system that awarded them was seemingly and repeatedly rigged against him. So, he was just fast and a great driver. And it wasn't, and it was, it seemed, it just seemed rigged against him. And the, and his septet of titles were via three different point systems. And all while, three, while, and all three, all while steering three wildly different generations of cars, race cars. It's just how good he was. Number 48, Theory Henry. Number 49, uh, Atana Bo Bon Matey. Uh, number 50 was Zondon Zidane. Number 51, Steve Nash. Number 52, Adrian Beltre. Number 53, Derek Jeter, one of the greatest shortstops of all time. Number 54, Alex, Alex Ovechkin. Uh, number 55, Luka Modric. Number 56, Alexia Putelis. Number 57, Callan Johnson, I believe one of the greatest receivers uh, ever. Uh, Hall of Famer, six-time Pro Bowler, single-season receiving yards record. Number 58, J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt was such a great player, man, for um, Houston. When he had that 2014 year, he had like 20 sacks. It was a beast. Number 59, Mariano Rivera. What y'all know about Mariano Rivera? One of the greatest closers ever. Number 60, Candace Parker. Number 61, where it gets crazy. Ray Lewis. Number 62, Shahani Atani. And this list isn't based off uh, accomplishments, by the way. It's just ranked off voters. So how are you telling me Candace Parker's better than Ray Lewis and Shahani Otani? If it's not, if this list isn't based on accomplishments, then Otani should be way up there just based on talent. Ray Lewis definitely had Candace Parker. 61's Ray Lewis, 62 Shahani Otani. 63, uh, Allison Felix. Number 64, Mia Hamm. Number 65, um, Kylian Mapabee. Um... 63, number 60, that was 65, excuse me, 66, um, John Jones, number 67, James Harden, number 68, Phil Mil Mickelson, number 69, Jason Kidd, the drunk guy, uh, number 70, Andres Inista, uh, number 71, Manny Pacquiao, number 72, Sean White, number 73, Mookie, that's boy Mookie right there. Uh, number 74, Lisa Leslie. Number 75, Xavi Hernandez. Uh, number 76, George St. Pierre. Number 77, Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Number 78, Bernard Hopkins. Number 79 was Bryce Harper. Number 80, Andy Murray. Number 81, Cheryl Swoops. Number 82, Kohi Uchimura. Number 83, Chris Paul. I don't know why Chris Paul's here. Number 84, Lauren Jackson. Number 85, Ka Super, Ka Super Kawaii. Why is he behind Chris Paul? Number 86, Venus Williams. Number 87, uh, Ronaldo Nazario. Number 88, Roy Holiday, RIP. Number 89, Anika Sorenstam. Number 90 was Asia Wilson. She's definitely going to open this list as, well, whenever the whenever the his next one is, but she's a freaking beast. Number 91, Aaron Rodgers. Number 92, Pedro Martinez. Pedro, Pedro. Number 93, Rory McIlroy. Number 94, uh, Ronaldo Dinho. Number 95, Z Zalatan Abrahamovic, number 96, Darnell Rivas. What you know about Rivas Island? Number 70, number 97, Varek Kali. Number 98, Connor McDavid, one of the greatest hockey players ever. Number 99, Ed Reed. And your number 100 player in this list, the last one is Charles Woodson. And this was an individual sports where asked experts like these individual sports were asked to rate, were vote to rank the top athletes. No accomplishments. Words got considered. So some of these, uh, I say, 
I think the bass is the least. Uh, Cause I know I may talk good about, but I just don't think it's that bass of the least. But you know, that's my thoughts. Um, Show Shohei and Ray Lewis ranked ahead Kansas Parker's crazy. Chris Paul being ranked ahead of Kawhi Leonard's crazy to me, but uh, not the not the best list. I'm gonna see some auto racing drivers in here, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, have a lot peace. Leave your thoughts on this list below.